Yo, 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 what's up, everyone? Especially you, Scott. Oh my god. I've been trying to put like funny little dudes into the chat so that there's something to look at as soon as the stream starts. <laughs> I can't believe it. Someone was already in chat before I even went live. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. There is a plan to this. There is a plan to this. There is going to be some new Yasha lore that has already been dropped in a new DLC and I'm going to try and uh, get some information out of it. I'm streaming early, by the way. Kind of funny. I don't think I was supposed to be. I was going to have a shave, <laughs> but I guess now I don't have time to do so. I'll do an intro as well. Hello there mortals, I am Jensen and welcome back to Remnant 2. There was a free DLC that was added to the game very recently, uh, well maybe not very recently, but I haven't played it yet and it gives us a bit of context as to what Yasha is all about, because let me count all of the things that we know about Yasha on my hand. Number one, they have an empress. Number two, the place that they live in is quite miserable. It's quite miserable, and that's about it. That's that's pretty much where we left it at, right? Okay, so here we are, back in the good old world of Remnant 2 with Scarby and, of course, Doggo. Oh, hello. What's going on already? I am being killed. Okay. <laughs> Straight off the bat. Man, this is unfair. Thank you, Doggo. Uh, we're gapping it out of here. Screw this place. We need to get back to Ward 13 as fast as possible, and we need to start the Yasha free DLC that was added. Also, this DLC that I'm going to be playing today is completely free. Anyone can play it as long as they own the base game. I think we've beaten the campaign once. We've gone back to get a couple of collectible items. We've beaten the Awakened King, not the Taken King, that's, DL that's Destiny 2's DLC. And we also have the backrooms. We've got the backroom secret as well. So we've got those things which basically gives us infinite stamina, which is pretty crazy, actually. I do also have a little bit of a bone to pick with my new keyboard. Because I got a new keyboard. Okay, we're going to the glittering gl grotto. I've got a new keyboard, and my last keyboard had a little notch where the W key is. And it doesn't have a notch on this new Logitech keyboard. So I, I keep, like really missing where to place my hands every time I remove my hands from the movement area. The controls were perfectly intuitive. Not if you keep misplacing your hand on the, on the keyboard. On the first Remnant game from the Ashes, Yasha was kind of like this, this place that was a little bit effed, but the root wasn't there yet. In Remnant 2, the root is here. Okay, we got some of these Chorus immediately in our way. Oh, hello! What the hell is that? It looks unique. I don't know if it actually is, though. Ah, oh, it looks fine, actually. These are cool. Look at these things floating around. They're like little jellyfish, but they're in the shape of, like, flower seeds. That's cool. Did you play Remnant on the channel? Yes, I've played all of them except for Kronos. So far. I am going to be going back and finishing Remnant 1, because Carl abandoned me right as we were about to fight the actual king. And Remnant 2? You're looking at it. This, this is the character that we have from Remnant 2. Actually, since this will probably be its own video or its own series, I'll show you the equipment that we've already got so far. We've already got the Fey armor set, which looks sick. We got the secret uh, Red Prince crown for killing the Red Prince with the Assassin's Dagger, which we still have equipped. We've got some secret lore in the last DLC, the paid DLC, that um, you only get by having the Assassin's Dagger when you talk to... What's her face? The, the big blue lady with the nice hair. I missed the OG, apparently. Everyone missed the OG. Oh, that's right. I was going through everything. Uh, we've basically got all of these complete armor sets, and we've also got a few additional hats, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't remember which ones are unique. The Lodestone Crown, I think, is unique. There's no armor um, that corresponds to this one. Technician Helmet. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's an armor with this one, but it's a pretty good helmet. We're just using the crown at this point because Scarby is a, is a queen, and we slay queen. We got the, a bunch of crap here. We got the Energized Net Coil that we have on right now. But we've also got this here, Gunfire Security Lanard, which automatically reloads magazines over time, which is absolutely crazy powerful. And we also have a couple of other rings that we got in the back rooms too. This is a new one. Offering Stone, dealing range damage, increases all damage by 1% for one second. Six, 15 times. That's actually pretty insane. Wow, that is actually pretty insane. Maybe we could swap out what we've got. We've got Xania's Malice so far. Dealing weak spot damage increases weak spot damage by 5% for 5 seconds. Stacks 4 times for a total of 20%. That's pretty good. We'll keep that one. Endira's Endless Loop allows us to continue regenerating our health while we're sprinting. We've got the Bisected Ring, 
which gains infinite stamina. However, we get we take additional damage, which is absolutely fine. The bisector ring is another one of the backrooms items, which is pretty fantastic. So we're going to keep on using that. The gunfire lane art is good, but reloading is not really an issue in this game once you have infinite sprint. And we've also got the ring of diversion, which increases in vulnerability windows while evading. That's pretty OP because I usually whiff my dodges pretty crazy. Uh, I'm more of a face tank kind of guy. And we're still using the base game Dragonheart because the rest of them have these heinous trade-offs or recharges that I just do not want to get used to. I played so much Remnant from the Ashes that just the OG heart is fine. I'm waiting to buy this one since I've saved up. Yeah, it is expensive, but the game is worth it. Remnant 2 is probably my favorite third-person shooter ever made. Second to Remnant from the Ashes. Just used my savings to buy an Oculus. Nice. Good purchase. Uh, Oculus was, was definitely my first VR purchase. They are awesome. They are really, really cool. You should get Swords... No, not Swordsman. Uh, Blade and Sorcery. Blade and Sorcery is really fun. You're going to 100% this game? Yes! I have planned on doing it. I've got a bunch of things uh, loaded up on my desktop to kind of chase. Ooh. That's pretty. Got a bunch of things to chase on my desktop, uh, including all of the items that we've missed for this character. So we're going to go back and we're going to go do a collection run. Man, this game's so much prettier, isn't it? With a with a 40 series graphics card. Because my earlier plays, uh, my earlier series, I did it on a 1080... No, a GTX 1070. Oh, what's going on? You know Where are they? What the hell? What are these? We're also using the electro gun because it's absolutely insane. I didn't realize that it was basically overpowered and recognized as overpowered. What is that? By the developers, because once you get the secret class from the back rooms, you can start with this gun, this uh, electro gun right here. Absolutely crazy, insane gun. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go this way. Actually, maybe up would be a better choice. We're in the ancient canopy, apparently. That's what this map is called. I know I'm covering the items in our inventory, but basically the only useful one that I see on our hopper is the two, which is basically brand new um Oh, that's a special. We need to... Oh, piss. I didn't mean to use that. Okay, which one's... That's Doggo, Doggo Attack. We need to figure out how to throw spines again. Okay, we'll reload really, really quickly. Excuse me. Get a big roll out of the way right there, baby. Nice. If, if is spine. So we've actually got them set up to slow enemies on contact. Whoops, missed. Missed again. And they recharge very, very quick. So that's gonna slow them. And now we also do increased damage. Oh my God, that was so unfair. So he does a drop slap. We gotta, we definitely have to kind of be wary of that. I've never seen this enemy before though. It kind of reminds me of the screamers from La Somme, I think. Okay, I did a big roll. It was probably quite unnecessary. I'm doing a bunch of big rolls right here. He's doing a scream. Good. Doggo really came through for that one, didn't he? Let's get rid of these here and get some scrap for fun. I do hope you start coming out with Death Space videos a little more often. It's one of my favorite series on your channel right now. Uh, yeah, I should. I should do that, actually. That's a that's a really good shout. The issue with Dead Space is I get too desensitized to the horror too quickly. So if I do any more than, like, two episodes in a single session, then they start tapering off. They become more action-oriented. This guy hasn't laid eyes on us yet. Oh, also, you can pet the dog. It also gives you a damage buff for doing so, which is pretty cool, too. Love it. I'll try and uh, put out lots and lots of Dead Space ones right after I finish Battlefield Bad Company 2, because Dead Space is basically a shooter. Mm. Alright, give us some lore. Yeah? Is it trying to talk to me? I? Another fever dream, perhaps. Yeah, that's how I feel Yesha is. Mm. Or is it? I'm real! For simplicity's sake, I will choose to believe that. If it will excuse me, I have important work to do. Yes, thanks, and uh, goodbye. I do not believe that. Honestly, I played it like any other shooter and enjoyed the fun puzzles and bosses. That, that is a pretty good way of enjoying Dead Space. But Dead Space 1, I feel, is supposed to be more horror-oriented than any of the other Dead Spaces, which I will just blast through very quickly. 
Now, I think if we stick on the Red Widow headdress, because this is Geisha armor, Red Widow, it looks pretty sick. I'm not sure about the armor rating on it, but I think we might get some secret dialogue just by having this on us. Man, it looks sick, doesn't it? Right. Hello, Hello friends. Persistent. Mm. I actually admire that quality a great deal. It is underrated, in my opinion. Good to hear. Well, fever dream or no, if the Paxil tech is going to be hanging around, I suppose I should tell it my name. I am Rothinder Wackenwald. Hello. Hello, Rothinder Wackenwald. That's not a real Thanks name. To those who lack proper learning, it breaks my scholarly <laughs> heart. Uh, can I just call you Walt? I'm just going to call you Walt. Mm. The Paxol Tech dream creature may do as it pleases. Walt has more important things to consider. Wanna make some myth? Jet. Surprisingly so. Indeed. Thanks and goodbye. He's giving us nothing! Is, is this gonna be the entire theme of this DLC? It's just, here's the whole lore explained. Also, nothing gets explained. It cannot be helped, can it? The curiosity! It is killing the Paxotec as surely as it is killing me! Knowledge is the only cure. I'll say. This mural here on the cave wall, can it comprehend the meaning? A trick uh. question, of course. I have dedicated my life to learning so that I may find the answers I seek and put the pieces together. After years and years of searching this jungle, I have finally found proof of what I knew all along. Proof of what? what it asks. <laughs> proof of all that matters in the whole world. Proof that the lost tribe of the Pan does exist. See, I have found the location of their civilization. It is no less than miraculous. Ah, I have gotten ahead of myself, have I not? I do apologize. My manners are not what they once were. I have been alone a long while now. A very long while. <clears throat> what uh, brings the Paxel Tech here? How can Walt uh, be of service? If it is looking to spend, I have a few valuable items I may be willing to part ways with. Funding for my research must be procured by whatever means necessary. Well, I mean, uh, we've actually gone on a murdering spree, so we've got lots of money to spare. So what are your thoughts on Delta in Chapter 1 now that it's settled in your mind? It's really good. It's a really good game. I actually adore it. I hate that the soundtrack has been copyrighted and has been exploited by whatever dickheads are managing the content ID claim. But the game itself, fantastic. Loved it. The audio, fantastic. The actual fight, very fantastic and also innovative, which is not something you can say a lot in this day and age. Um, charming, too. The story is absolutely charming and it's self-aware enough without breaking the fourth wall to just have its own, you know, separate kind of meta charms. Okay, what do you have to say? cannot resist my wares. I'll be the judge of that. He has a bright stone, that's a grenade, yuck. That's a consumable, yuck. Uh, curative, yuck. Sacred lake water, yuck. 100,000 bucks for a single ring! Reduces max health by 20%. Nice! <laughs> Increases all damage by 1% for every 5% of the wearer's total damage reduction. Oh, okay. So this is like a tank ring. Oh. Ravages bargain. Increases all damage by 5% and all critical chance by 5% while bleeding. I'm going to buy it for collection's sake, but I don't think we'll ever actually end up using it. Yes, it must be on its way. Yes, okay, so this mural he was talking about, he's found a bunch of stuff, so we know their burial rites, we've found a bunch of their tombs, we've met their empress as well, we know that the kind of economy is separated into these very, very nimble packs, I think they're called, and these uh, huge royal guards as well, they're separate from the very nimble guys who we kind of find outside of the royal palace. Uh, this giant tree, I can't remember the relevance of, and I'm not entirely sure what this boat is for. Well, obviously it's for saying, but I, I don't necessarily think it's relevant to us previously. We haven't come across why it's relevant just yet. I've added a new chapter to your Amnesia Custom Story trick. Wonderful. I'll get to that in the stream as well. 
Along with an extra suggestion that you are most likely going to play anyways, but I figured it should be there anyways. Oh, tell me what it is. I'll tell you if I have played it or haven't played it already. Hold up, this has all been discovered apparently. This area over here. Can we run and jump to this? Yes! Okay, I don't know where we are, but we've just jumped. We've just, we've just jumped a, a big distance. What's down here? Dead Space 2 just figured it should be on the list. It's on my private list. It's on my to be played, as well as uh, Dead Space 3. But I don't know if by the time I finish those two, Dead Space 3 will have a remake or something out yet. Uh, this place is confusing. Hey, there's a lever over there as well, actually. That's pretty good to know. We should commit that to memory, just in case we want to... Oh, piss! Whoop, that was close. And there's also a downstairs, too. Where the hell are we? This place is an actual maze. Uh, I'm going to go around the other side, see if there's actually another way to go. I'm pretty sure we could jump over to that, but that's just a bunch of upgrade materials. We're not really interested in it. Come all the way down here. Where the hell are we? I think that's going to be the most said question in this kind of discovering playthrough. Because Yasha is a veritable maze. Always has been, probably always will be. Uh, nothing in there. Nothing down there per se either. I feel like this is supposed to be like a Minecraft dropper. Oh, that's an enemy. If I ever saw one. Boop. Okay, good. I'm going to trigger that. Get him close to me because he's a uh, special. I juked that. Okay, now we start with the Thunderdome. Ow. I don't know how... They did half the health and damage. Whoa, he is fast, actually. He is scary fast. Luckily, Doggo can actually revive us. So that's good to know. I think he can only do it once every, like, two minutes, though. I think we're pretty much safe over here. He's kind of glitching out on the... Uh, let's get a different gun out. Whoa! Oh, that's right. This gun's crazy insane, isn't it? I think it allows us to kind of, like, tag enemies, and the bullets follow them. How does it do it, though? I'll test it out during the next skirmish. How's the frame rate? Frame rate's good. Okay. Come down here. Come down here. Probably could have just dropped off here. Didn't really need to take that ladder. There's a flower. I think I just heard something break. I don't remember what, what it was per se. What's this? What is this? This must be what controls that lever. Oh, there's a bunch of uh, cool stuff over here. Including a Luminite Crystal. That's 500 bucks straight off the bat. Okay, I think that's an enemy. That's also probably an enemy. I'm going to fire my, my laser at it. Oop. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's really good. Holy hell, that was actually very powerful. What about this one? Nope, that did nothing. What about this? Nothing. Okay. Oh, my God. Hello. There, friend. Okay, I'm firing my laser. He's firing off his own laser as well. Oh my god, this thing's powerful. Okay, I need to get better at dodging. I'm running away. I'm running away this way. Let's pop a what's the doodle on him. Boop. And we'll dodge that. And we'll also dodge that. And it seems like he's also got something else in his hand. I did not press anything. Why did I do that action? Hey, Matt, how we going? Long time, no live. It's been a while since we've chatted. Yeah, it's been a, a long time. You're probably a, an, an adult now, aren't you? <laughs> it's been that long. Uh, I'm back to Remnant. So on my end, literally nothing has changed since the last time we were talking. It's pretty funny. Uh, we don't know anything about what we're doing, though. I'm basically looking for a way to get up to a lever, which I'm pretty sure is going to be through this doorway here so that we can kind of, I don't know, change the map around, I suppose. Lol, no, still 16? Oh, I, you've got to be like five years older than that by now, surely. Although I don't really have access to the, to the back of my head, my temporal lobe, so I don't really understand what time it is most of the time. Okay, great. Uh, so, I'll come through here. It looks like there's an NPC at the other end of this, and also a fight. Okay, let's fire that, and we'll start firing this auto charger. Whoa, okay, what's he doing? I can't tell. There we go. Big shots, and he's dead. I don't know if we've... Oh, what the hell is going on over there? What? Okay, I'll fire. I think I missed that shot. Oh, wow, that's powerful. That's very powerful. I like doing that. 
Is that just a reload animation? Oh, I've got unlimited ammo with this thing. That's awesome. I've been watching your content warning gameplays. I love that game. Oh, content warning. Yes, I've got a couple of recordings still to edit of that game, but it, it's not doing so well. It's not doing so well. Too much amnesia caused him to forget how time exists. I am Daniel. I am Daniel. That's how I run. I am Daniel. There's a, a literal door above us on the minimap. I'm not sure if everyone can see that in the top right hand corner. It's not attached to anything. Okay, there is actually an NPC down here. Maybe we should come down here and actually try and speak to him. Hello? Is this him? Oh, here he is. Okay, that's confusing. I don't know what the hell this guy's all about. Let's leave him alone. Uh, they added Fallout Fortnite and they added a new update to Minecraft. I've just played that. It's not my neighbor reason lately. I played the nightmare mode. I've got a game theory as well in the works. Unfortunately, I reached out to a creator to do a collaboration and she flat out deleted my, my reach out. So uh, I had to wait like a week before I realized, hey, we're not actually gonna make this game theory in time for it to hit the hype. Okay, we'll get a couple of consistent dots over there. Oh, this guy's big, this guy's big. Maybe we should use the unlimited ammo gun. Whoa, that's a lot of, that's a lot of damage. Okay, he seems invincible. Ow, that actually really hurt. Piss. I'm gonna roll through that, of course. All right, there we go. Go, Doggo! Go, Doggo, go! Holy hell, okay. I did not get hit with a single one of those things. I'm gonna wait until he opens his flower. We are pretty harmed, but it's not going to last forever, I don't think. Whoop! There we go. Oh, there's a few of these guys. All right, let's fire that one, and then we'll start firing these at him. There we go. We got the big guy, and there's also two little guys accompanying him. And they are dead, thanks to Doggo. Dago bit their dicks off. Sorry, I meant Doggo, not Dago. Dang, that's that's also content warning free. If so, would you like to play together? It costs money. Yeah, it, 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 it costs money. It's It's... It's not a free game. Okay, I still don't know how this gun works. Maybe we should have a refresher on what we are using, right? So this is the Monarch Plus 10, so I fully upgraded it. Uh, I remember it being an absolute ass kicker as well. Your Minecraft update was fun. It's funny you guys mentioned that because I was literally going to stream Fallout 76 this stream, but I didn't. And I reinstalled it. It's like a 110 gigabytes. Pretty crazy. I fired it up and I looked at my old character, which is level 99. So I played so much Fallout 76 already. Uh, I'm willing to start like a new character and see what all of the new updates are, are like, though. Because I played it like maybe four years ago. It's pretty good. I haven't played the Minecraft update, but I am also thinking about doing a series with the Epic Flying Horse, the guy I keep playing games with on the channel. Um, doing modded Minecraft, maybe like Skyblock or uh, Feed the Beast. Or vaults. That's a good one. Vault is a really good one. Maybe some nuclear war we could have. Okay, the Monarch Plus 10. Chain of Command is its special. Harpoon mode, fire harpoon to mark target causing primary fire to become homing rounds. We knew that. Dealing 15% reduced damage. We did not know that. Enemies hit by homing rounds build influence. Recasting exits mode. When influence fills, Monarch automatically reloads, creates a shockwave, and gains 20% increased damage and infinite reserves. Whoa! That's insane. And this other one here, the Tesla gun, is pretty standard. We've got some probes bound to it. How do we do this? Yeah, here we go. So we've got the time wave latched onto it, uh, so that every time we put a probe onto an enemy, time wave slows enemies. I don't know how much bite, but it is actually a noticeable amount, especially when you are being ganked by a couple of tanks rushing at you. So that's good to know. This Assassin's Dagger we're just keeping on us because it gives us lore, secret lore. We might want to swap it out with something a bit more Yation, like the Dreamcatcher. Let's do that. Let's swap it out with the Dreamcatcher, and we'll see what kind of lore we can get. Because I think we're going to get lore if we dress up like the Red Widow. I think it's supposed to be like a Yation superhero. We've also got the Ritualist uh, archetype up here, which we haven't maxed out, but we've still got it equipped. Oh, that's right. We've also got mods. So if I go into uh, traits, we have doubled the amount of traits that we can act. The mod's broken. Doesn't work. 
Uh, we have also got a mod that tripled the amount of enemies that come in here. We should do a Minecraft series together. I have a Microsoft account, so I can add you. We can do the updated dungeons. Added trail dungeons, which are hard as hell, and they're adding new wolves and wolf armor. Could be good. I could also do an open uh, series as well. Wait, what the hell was that? Eight points overspent. I've got the mod. Oh, that's so rough. Game. Okay, so it's absolutely broken that single mod, but it's kept the one that respawns enemies at an alarmingly high rate. So we now we are just completely sandbagged. Oh, apparently we're under attack. Hello? Enemies? I don't see anything. Poppycock! Poppycock, we're under attack. Okay, I'll come down here. Still going on down. We didn't get access to that gigantic thing up top, did we? The, the lever that changes the map around. Also, I can't see anything on the mini-map either. This looks like a uh, mini-boss fight, doesn't it? Oh, yes! Mini-boss fight! Hello! Whoa! Okay. It's a charged sentry, so probably going to have some kind... Oh my god, I'm dead already! That's right, it's shocking. So if we get too close, it's going to electrocute us. Let's dip away from that, and we'll kind of use this thing right here. Whoa! My god! Okay, we deal damage, we get health. Let's not... Okay, we die. Very quickly, too. Absolutely insane, that one was so fast. Adding new enemies to the trail dungeons and new vaults to get keys when you defeat the mods for the, for the vaults. Minecraft just had so many updates since I last played it. Okay, so let's check the minimap, see where we are. We can maybe create, like, a game plan. We died down here. I think if we kill this dickhead, we're going to get some, like, nice little unique item. There seems to be another item... Well, a ladder of some sort just over here as well. There is a door we can't access over here with a bunch of question marks in it. It's probably going to be a return route. This is Uquil. Don't know what that means. Okay, how do we get down there fast? Can we just jump off of this ledge that we're already facing? Like, yeet ourselves over here. Very nice. Oh, no! I didn't mean to fall down here. Okay, we'll come over here. We want to go back to where we were, basically as fast as possible. AFAP which is way down there. Oh my days, that's going to take ages to get to. Probably can't just run to the bottom of this either. I'll do it anyway. We'll start using the Tesla gun a bit more. I think we'll pull out the the big the big heavy hitting gun a bit sparingly. And do you record audio on Discord or how do you talk to others like that horse guy? Uh, I record my desktop. That's it. It's literally is. I record desktop audio. I wanted to record uh, Discord separately because I've been playing games separately with a bunch of people. But I haven't actually set it up yet because I've been busy actually recording and editing. Uh, there's this big beefy guy as well. I think maybe we could probably just run past him in a pinch. Get right to the end, but he might keep stalking us. So I think maybe probes first. Probes first. We'll swap our gun. We will pin him, and then we'll start firing these homing rounds at him. We are not going to be hit by these things. He's firing his lasers at us. I'm still going to fire my laser at him. Good, we didn't get hit by any of those. Pretty crazy. And we're doing well, actually. We have got every single one of his attacks. We've got unlimited ammo as well. Oh, hello. I'm taking... No! We fell off the map. We fell off the map. Because they don't have a mic option for Minecraft, Minecraft only chat that shows up in the corner. Who don't? Microsoft or uh, Discord? Because Discord, uh, when you start getting into audio recording, you start realizing that you need to know about as much as a, a university qualification would get you. <laughs> I've been audio engineering for about 20 years by this point. Yeah, I think you'd love Trail Dungeons. They're so fun. What are they like? Is it like a... Um, is it like a first-person kind of dungeon experience? Because I've played a few map conversions that are kind of like that, but nothing like too concrete. Okay, let's be wary of the pitfalls, because the mini-map is not forthcoming whatsoever with any of the hazards around us. We're going to have to start using our eyes and ears instead of actually playing the game. Uh, let's put a pin on his face. A couple of pins on his face, actually, I think. And then we'll swap. We'll pin him. And now we will fire our lasers. He's going to do a big walloping. Oh, that's not good. Uh, we are right on the ledge. That's good. He's almost dead. 
And now we've got unlimited ammunition. Great, he is toast. And so are his lackeys. Whoa, this gun hits so hard. I love it. Ooh. The Minecraft, I would just use Discord. Look up the trial dungeons, like the new update. They'll show you everything. Dan TDM actually played with some guys from Mojang into the dungeons. Mojang's not really... Do they still have anything to do with Minecraft? Because I know Microsoft bought them a while ago. And since then, they haven't necessarily... Like, come out with anything public, as far as I'm aware. I don't watch a lot of YouTube anymore, though, to be honest. I watch Umperville, but that's about it. Yes. Okay, that's cool. So, we've got the pot down here. I think maybe... Oh, no, we can't just electrify him because he's electrified himself. Maybe we do use this gun here. Okay, I'm fine. We've got homing rounds for now. Uh, we are going to just kind of strafe that right there. He is shocking, annoyingly, so we'll kind of duck, dip, dive, and dodge around him too. Uh, I'm going to keep my distance. He's vicious, so he does excess damage. Oh, that was pretty good. Good work, Doggo. Good work, Doggo. Oh, damn that hurt. Uh, we're going to use a dragon heart. I just remembered the key to do so out of muscle memory. Wonderful. I'm going to do a dodge because he's firing off a bunch of lasers. Oh, that's unfair. <laughs> what? Why am I dead? I just got double hit. Feel that later. Okay, let's kind of really keep our distance from him, I think. And we'll tell Doggo to go and try and hit him. What is that thing? I think maybe we just kind of like spam. We spam dodge as soon as he unleashes his gigantic load. Because it is rough like this right here. Maybe we just spam dodge. Uh, he's going to fire another one of those beams, I think. Whoa, okay, that's a mortar. That's weird. Never seen that before. Uh, can we curve the bullets around this here cover? I'm dodging. Okay, good. We got unlimited stamina. Why wouldn't we dodge? Honestly, it's literally free real estate. Okay, that's not good. I'll do another couple of dodges. He's all glitched out. He's attacking Doggo, actually. He's almost got him down, but we got him first. Got the pressure point mutator, baby! And an achievement. Nice. Awesome. So, wonderful. I love him, please. Dating Call Me Chris, who I watched first. Want to know what video I found you from? Was it Umperville? What Did Umperville cover me? Because if so, my channel's probably about to be cancelled. <laughs> oh, God, I love his content so much. He's really funny. And he's really, really good for keeping up with the news in the YouTube sphere. Uh, let's check out that mutator we just got. It sounds like an absolute ass kicker. Hopefully it's for this gun. It is this one right here. Pressure point. Increases this weapon's range and mod damage by 5% to enemies within 7 meters. That kind of sucks. That actually kind of sucks. Activating this weapon's mod triggers a fixed 7 meter blast, dealing 50 explosive damage per 100 mod power spent in a single cast. Yuck. Yucky, yucky. Inflicts 1.5 stagger damage. Very yuck. That sucks, actually. We also got the Prophecy, which increases mod power generation by 3% for 10 seconds. Okay. How does it trigger? Using this weapon's mod. Okay. I don't really like that. That's not very good, actually. We're not using... We should probably stick a, a mutator on this anyway. Of some sort. My eyes deceive. I was looking at everyone's reactions and found you. And you did both endings and started watching you. Yeah! I made that video because I watched Markiplier play half of it, right? And he didn't finish it. He didn't finish the goddamn game. So I figured I'll take it upon myself. And honestly, that video did really well because of Markiplier. So hopefully there are more games he's not going to finish. Dreadful. Increases range damage by 1% for 5% of total health. Prisoner's gray health. Yuck. Harmonizer. Attached mod deals 15% additional mod damage. Yuck. We don't do damage with this mod. Lithily. Dealing 50% of the attached weapon's magazine base damage. We don't have a magazine. Maelstrom. <laughs> increases this weapon's elemental damage by 5%. I don't even think it does elemental damage. Breach. Unique elemental status effect on the target. Doggo does bleed. Tesla gun does electrical. That's it. Those are the only two. So that's a maximum of 10% damage if we procure both of those. I watched him first. Yeah, I had a hunch. I had a hunch. I think everybody watched him first because everybody that uh, yeah, came over to my channel said things like, oh yeah, I was wondering what the other ending was because Markiplier didn't want to play it. He just kind of gave up at the end. Uh, increases range damage of this weapon by 1% to bleeding targets. That might be really handy on account of Doggo doing bleed damage to everything. This weapon's range weep spot and critical hits apply bleeding. <sighs> Ooh, Twisting Wounds is actually a self-generating damage increase, and I don't think it has a cap. Unless it's like a hard cap, and it's just like a flat 1% with 
plus 10 uh, levels doing 10% additional damage. This is pretty good, actually, but we have to, we definitely have to increase it. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, Mark Blythe finishing My Eyes Deceive. He only got one of the endings, and I was a little annoyed by that, so I, I played it myself, and everybody came over to my channel to see both endings, which I got. Sleeper. Oh, what am I talking about, like, right now? I'm talking about the, um, these are modifiers that you stick on the guns, and we haven't got one on this gun that we just got in the last DLC that we played, so I'm doing it now. Sleeper. This weapon has become empowered when stowed for five seconds. We're not going to use that. Let's use Twisting Wounds. It's only got a 1% damage increase at the moment, but if we max out its damage output, it'll self-procure its own status effects. I mean the game? Yeah, I'm um, just talking about the uh, weapon modifiers. I don't know this game. This is Remnant 2. This is one of my favorite third-person shooters in the world. Maybe even one of my favorite shooters in the world as well. Could even be, could even be my, my favorite shooter in the world. So there's nothing else here. We just have to push onwards. There's been a new DLC, well, new-ish. It came out a few months ago. A uh, free DLC that allows you to explore kind of a, a hidden enigma of information in a area called Yasha, which is not very well known in the universe. And this DLC is supposed to break the lid open as to the economy as to what you face. Guess what? Um, you know the man who discovered milk for the first time. And you also know what mental illnesses led him to discover milk for the first time. Those two things are going to be my guess. Hi, Vin. Hi, hi Mads. Hi. Someone else said that last night in the chat. It was quite funny. Quite funny indeed. Now, I think this is actually the beginning of the map. So we've just unlocked the door that allows us to start fresh. Oh, hello. Tesla gun deployed. Okay, good. We got both of those done and dusted. Gonna take that ammo for fun. Gonna pop that for no reason, other than my insatiable amusement and gluttony for flesh. Okay, knowledge is power, and we know that that's not an enemy. Oh, I bet that one is, though. I bet that's an enemy. It is an enemy! I knew it! Toast it. Absolutely toast. Oh, hello! Great. It seems that electricity is actually quite powerful against these guys. Except for these guys, who seem to do electrical damage. Now, we actually restore health by dealing damage, and we've got basically an infinite stamina as well, so... There's no harm in just kind of rolling around and biding our time. More bad news. What? You don't even know that yet. Okay, let's deploy Great this. Because we know that these two are enemies here. Boom! Holy hell, that also does poison effect! So hold up, there was actually a mutator that allowed us to do damage based on the amount of status effects that an enemy has. So maybe we should have that one until we level up this Twisting Wounds one. Which one was it? It wasn't that one. Increases this weapon's elemental damage by 5% for each unique status effect on the target. We're using this one for now. Good job, Vin. <coughs> Thanks, Mads. Thanks. Also, uh, that burp is free. Absolutely free. You can have that. Free of charge. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna ask for a subscription for that burp. Because I've already got it. <laughs> okay. I think maybe it would be prudent to go and explore the other areas that we haven't seen on this map. It's a big map, actually. Gotta be said, it is a really big map. We went up... No, we haven't been up and around. Oh, hello! Sorry, friend, I didn't see you there. Let's get away from him real quick, and then we will deploy all kinds of mayhem. Any more of them? No, that's it. Excellent! The laugh reactions, is that for the burp? It's free. It's absolutely free. And if you stick around for longer, you can have another one. Absolutely free of charge. Okay, good. Hard to tell. That one's sus. That one's real sus. So's that one. Oops, missed that one. Now, why are we using these probes on, as the kind of special for this gun? Because the base gun actually does a huge amount of elemental damage. Oop. Gonna dodge that one straight out of the gate. I'm getting the muscle memory back. Uh, the probes, when you fire two of them and one of them misses, they create kind of like a string in between themselves. Like if I put one here and one here, there is a line. And if an enemy crosses that line, they get electrocuted. They take damage. Now, if I also pin one here, whoop, or not, if I pin one to this, all of the probes that are close to it will also start chaining lightning to it. So if we just dump our probes onto that thing, is he going to do a big drop slam? Looks like it. Whoop. Gonna dodge that. 
And Josh Bad, of course. And now he's dead! Damage over time. I didn't have to, didn't have to do it with my gun. I burp on command, by the way. It's my superpower. My superpower is armpit farts. But uh, the whole thing about superheroes is that they're super because they have powers and they're heroes because they choose not to use it. So you're just going to have to take my word for it that I have armpit farts. How is this? Matriarch's ring? That would suggest that this right here would have been a matriarch or a thief. We've already got lore. We're probably not going to use it though. What does it do? Perfect dodge reduces charged melee stamina by 100% for 7 seconds. Yuck. What is this? Elden Ring? Get the hell away from that. Yuck. I'm making you an edit? I hope you don't remix that burp. <laughs> I really hope you don't remix that burp. That'd be so silly. Okay, we'll jump off this ledge right here. I think my mouse sensitivity is a little bit too high for me to get reacquainted with. It looks like there's another path we could take over there. Ah, that's where we need to go. So there is a boss wall on the other side of there. Maybe we have to defeat a boss. And also that lever right there was our objective in the first place. I'm going to go into the map and see if there's anywhere we've missed. I don't think there is. Ah, bottom of the tower, it seems there's somewhere. Oops. Oh, we can rotate. Wonderful. What is this? That was my last death. Okay. There's a place over here. Uh, that looks like an elevator at a glance. Don't know how to get there, though. Uquil is over here. Still don't know how to get there. We haven't been here. We haven't been there. So let's go to the bottom of this tower, and then we'll go to that place. Okay, we took a bit of damage, but we are going to regenerate health over time, which is nice. It's like Mark and Lix, but us. Oh, man. I, I need an editor to, like, animate themselves into my videos because I've been, like, doing it myself recently and, God, it takes so long to, ed to edit. Especially the really, really big videos, which is kind of why I'm moving on to the semi-live format. Uh, we have to take that guy out right there. Let's put a pin on him and then as soon as he spawns... Oh, homing shot right to the face. Take that, you big bastard. Oh, he fired a round at us and I got stuck on Doggo, I think. Boop! I'm dodging. Good. And now I'm curling. I'm curling my shots around him. Oh, that's not good. Good thing we've got Doggo right here. Is he spamming jump shots? Okay, he is. What a bastard. Jump, do it. Commit the bit. We don't have enough health to jump down there now, unfortunately. What the hell is that guy still alive? Oh, it's because he's not an enemy. That's fine. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Oh, that's, uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So I remember there being a ladder just around this corner here. We literally cannot run out of ammo with this gun, by the way. We are getting ammo faster than we can use it, which is pretty nice. I'm doing it. You said it was free. Okay, remix my burp then. But it better slap. It better, it better actually be a bop. I better want to download it to my, my Spotify audiobooks library. Uh, let's take a look at the map again. <laughs> the voices in your head commit to the bit. The voices in my head already say commit to the bit. Oh, I've got friends, actually, who introduce me to their friends as, hey, this is uh, Vin, he's a YouTuber, and he is um, basically every invasive thought personified into a, into a person. Don't know what those even do. They might heal us. Let's see. It is doing nothing to our health. Is it like a slow thing? Hard to tell. I'm going to go up here into somebody's home, and we're going to ransack it. Just see what it's all about. I think I just saw an enemy up here. Let's get the Tesla gun out, because it's close quarters. We'll take this here hardened iron, even though we're probably not going to spend it. What is that? It's nothing. Oh, that's not something! That's something bad! Okay, he's uh, shooting his load at us. I'm going to kick him. And then we're going to take out all of his best friends. Okay, good. Good, good. There's a chest here. Yuck, it's just the same old loot that we get in every other map as well. What do you mean this isn't looking good? We just got free loot. Free loot? Come off it. That's sus. That's sus. Okay, we'll fire that. Prob that probably actually kills him with the entire load of the round that we fire into it. The pig actually does a huge amount of damage. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. All right, we'll take him out there. I think I chained a little bit of lightning to him, which is why he had next to no health. But ultimately, no worries. No worries whatsoever. Uh, this area over here looks really confusing, so let's go over here. There's a ladder here. We can go down there. What is down there? 
Uh, looks like there's probably the sweetest of FA down there. Ah, it just looks like subterranean stuff. Okay, we'll come up here. Through the ancient canopy. What is this? Ah, there's an item. Uh, can't jump up there, apparently. Can't I? Really? Can't I jump up there? Okay, let's pick this guy and see if, he, if it flat out just kills him. It probably will, actually. Yep, it flat out killed him. Doggo did not even do anything. Oh, hello! Jesus, that scared me. Okay, let's get away from all of these slappers. Boop. There we go. A little bit of a Tesla boop on the nose. And I will take out this heavy while Doggo distracts him. Very cash money. Okay, we got a little gold item over here. It is a treasure chest, which is wonderful. Excellent. And we got a blue item over here, which I think is a skill point, but I can't be too sure. Yep, it is a trade point. Great. So we could probably spend that now, but there's not really anything worth spending it on just at this exact moment. Like right this second. So maybe we won't do it just yet. I probably have to reinstall that mod that allows us to uh, double our trade cap, our cap trade. Here you go, buddy. I've aggroed that thing. Uh, let's also aggro it with our special on this. Oop, here we go. And I'm going to fire my load into that one and also this one. We aren't even using the special from the class that we have. We're actually just doing this with just raw gun damage, which is pretty crazy, actually. Maybe we should have gone on nightmare mode. We probably could just re-roll to nightmare mode. I mean, we haven't gotten too far in it already. And we still haven't found any lore. Hello! Sorry, I didn't see you there. I'm going to loot this chest real quick. And then I'm going to let you do your thing. Let's see what this does to that. Wow, that is a lot of status effects. Good grief. I still don't even know what the damage buff for this gun is with all those status effects. Pretty crazy. Uh, it looks like we need to deal damage to get our skill back. Oh, no, it's going up over time. That's fine. How the hell have we not found a single door yet? Like, there's not a single ounce of progression that we've found so far. Okay, we'll go back into the map and we'll take a wee look around again. Ah! That's a little obnoxious, so if we backtrack, there is actually a path that we didn't take up these stairs right here. And I think that is got to, by process of elimination or deduction or whatever the hell you want to call it, it's got to lead us to some kind of door. Ah, uh, we took the wrong path, I think. Actually, we haven't been this way, so we may as well just go this way. At least once. We still got a lot of ammo. Our ammo is looking pretty much flush, and Doggo is still trailing along next to us, too. We'll come up here. We'll get on this ladder. And then we will shoot up into the canopy. And we'll see if there's not a door. We'll see if there's not, like, a boss door or something. I think the one thing that I'm becoming uh, more prevalently rusty in... Oh, hello. What's going on? That thing right there. Whatever that is. I think I hit it. I think I actually hit it. That's not good. I just got uh, locked into a single location. Okay, we'll deal a bunch of damage. It's probably going to do a big drop on us. There, okay, I tried to attack, but I had my gun out, unfortunately. Doggo got us back up. Very good. Very good of him. He didn't have to do that. Let's get our Tesla gun out and deal a bunch of chain lightning. Very good. A couple of those. And we are looking pretty damn good. Okay, I dodged through that. Wonderful. We're going to reload our Tesla gun. And I'm going to dodge through that too. Because it's obvious. Wonderful. Excellent. So, moving on through here with hilariously full health. We'll see what else we can do. I wonder if that's an enemy. I can't quite tell. The hell did that fly off at? Oh, I think it just rebounded off. Okay. So this should be a scene transition to quite likely a boss fight to progress. I don't know how much is going to be contained in this free DLC, but it could actually be quite substantial. The, oh, who makes it? Uh, Gunfire Games, they put a lot of pride in their work, like an exceptional amount of pride. So I'm happy to experience it all. All right. We'll pop on through here. This is the deserted atelier. Who said that? Hello? Okay, probably don't really need pigs, but I fired one anyway. It missed, regardless. I think I did nothing. 
Uh, I'm going to see what's over on this ledge right here, because it seems like a, a kind of hidden path, doesn't it? Not really. Okay. Well, we did check, and that's enough for me. Do you know what gacha never life is? Like this never heard of it. I know what gacha is. It's uh, loot crates, which I'm not going to do a let's play on, on account of it being gambling, which I inherently disagree with. Where did that thing go? Here it is. Whoa! That wasn't fair. <laughs> Crazy! Crazy high damage with that one little drop slam there. We are using kind of crap armor though. Got to be said, it's a it's a Shit. bit fruity. Okay, I'm gonna dodge away from that. We're gonna chain some lightning around. We just leveled up our ritualist class level six, which is pretty nice. We would have unlocked something for it, but I couldn't fathom what. Okay, what's around here? Not a lot. I'm still kind of using the mini map to spot loot. Cause that's what it, what's going on. Hello. What the hell are they doing here? Oh, that's right. These are the fruit. That's the whole purpose of us being here in the first place. Is to find out why the root is on Yeisha. Oh, hello there. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't see you. Off the distance. Did that thing just become electric charged? Oh, that's scary. That is actually a scary concept. Since that is our main damage type. Okay, I'm going to come up here. I kind of want to backtrack along this way. May I use my gacha life character for the thing I don't know how to draw or animate? I'll still animate it. I'm... You're welcome to do so. I'm, I'm not going to tell you how to create art. <laughs> art is subjective to the artist, right? Like, a lot of people say that art is about the viewer, but it's really not. It's about the state of the artist. I'm not going to restrict somebody from creating their own art. Because if somebody restricted me from editing my own videos, they'd be a much less quality than they actually are. Still don't know what gacha life is, though. Okay, maybe I'll swap to the ass kicker, the big ass kicker gun, and we'll go up. We'll take the high ground. You know, Sun Tzu did say that the high ground is where the winners are. And we are winners here. Ooh, trade point. Nice. Is this DLC just like free trade points? Is that the point of it? It's just, it's just a time waster for the sake of a time waster. It could be. We haven't found any lore so far other than a single mural. Okay, nothing down there. We'll push on this away. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm, ju I'm just gonna fire at this guy. Our bullets move a little bit slower than the rest of our arsenal, but if we kind of, like, shoot where the enemy is going to be, then perfect. Gacha the Life is a game where you make your own little characters and you can use them for edits and animations. That's cool. That's cool. So it's like pivot stick figure. Right? It's, it's pivot stick figure animated. Hello! I didn't see you there! Everything! I didn't see anything here! Okay, let's do a big attack. I accidentally used um, <laughs> my melee weapon for no reason. Wow! That was effective. I heard the big ear horn. Oh, hello. What is going on? What is a veal stalker? Oh, hello! It's that! Okay, I, homing rounds are really, really good for these enemies. Damn, I did not want to fire that. Piss. This game has a habit of sandbagging us, right? As soon as it actually procures its special. I'm going this way. Scooby! Uh, let's do a bunch of really hard-hitting attacks while Doggo kind of uh, tanks in the background. Oh, no! Okay, I am going to fire a couple of probes on this thing because it is obnoxious as hell. Go away, pot! Good, we got the pot out of the way. We can do a reload. No, we can't! No, we can't. We can't do a reload. I'm going to do a strafe run. And we'll come along here. Oh, it's mirrored me! Cool! That is cool! I love that! All right, now where is he? Uh, let's use a dragon heart. We can't use a dragon heart. Apparently we have none left. It's pretty sad. Okay, I'm surprised neither of those hit me. Oh, he's got a special called cloner. Right, I see it! I see the cloner! Okay, good thing we can land the other hits than this guy can. And it's probably also a good thing that we use the crap gun frequently. Right, let's kind of like probe this guy. We'll use... Okay, thank you for the clone. Oh no! Not another one of these things! Piss off! Leave! I'm rolling. I'm literally rolling. Okay, I did a chain. We are going to do some homing shots on him. We are going to roll out of the way. I'm going to try and angle my shot so that we take out that, that cloner as well. Excellent. All right, so 
should be in a pretty good place now. Let's pull out our probes and wait for this guy to respawn himself. There he is. Ow! Thanks a bunch for that. Uh, I'm going to put a probe on him. Doggo can take care of him from now on. Oh, he dodged. Impressive. Okay, good. And now we use this. Okay, we got the chain on there. And he's respawned, which is absolutely fantastic. This guy's had to drop on us so many times. Okay, well, land both of those shots. He's now over here. I saw the kind of bullet arc. Good. Okay, when he respawns, he's probably going to pop another one of the... Yeah, here they are. Uh, another us. Good shot, me. Thank you, me. Here he is, right behind us. He hasn't actually landed a single shot on us, though, which is pretty funny. Whoa, that was a real good amount of uh, shots we just did there. Oh, he still hit us. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. Stop rolling! It's not the time. Okay. You're gonna probe him. How? How do these guys keep respawning? Where is he? Okay, he's right in front of us here. I actually just rolled into that mortar shot, which is a little bit embarrassing. I'm gonna take him out there. He's right behind us. We could probably actually run up to him and use our class skill. In fact, you know, I'm gonna use my class skill on here right as he pops the, uh, the clone, I think. Okay, not now. Right there. Okay, excellent. That was wonderful. That was right at the time I wanted to pop that too. Okay, we still got Doggo. Being a real a real good boy. Here he is. Done. Got him. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Wow, it's everywhere. It was more popular than 20, 2018, but it's still popular. Oh, we did get a mutator. Opportunist. Nice. What does this do? That one actually sounds like a melee skill. It is a melee skill. Okay. Can we put it on this? Here it is, Opportunist. Perfect dodge activates opportunity, which increases melee critical chance for 50%. Wow. Two seconds, okay. If we were going to be using this weapon at all, that's exactly the kind of mod we would want on it. Uh, we're running a little bit low on ammunition after that fight, but I think we're still in a pretty good place. I'm gonna reload this weapon, even though it's only got one round missing in the chamber. I'm gonna take this hardened iron, and we're going to push on. I think we are completely out of dragon heart, so as soon as we see a bonfire, we're probably going to sit down at that as well. If you're still here, I'll pop in when it's done. I'll be here for a wee while. I'm getting into the habit of kind of like streaming a little bit every day. And then kind of also publishing a video every day too. Hello! Enemies! I didn't quite see you there. I also just realized from those two that there are two types of those enemies. One with a left hand and one with a right hand. Because one of them has a weapon and the other one does not. So I feel like one of them is supposed to be more defensively oriented than the other, while still kind of like being a little bit of a nuisance. Yeah, that one's got a weapon there. What the hell did I do? All right. So he can kind of like fade. The one with the weapons can fade. What else are we looking at? Here's another one with a weapon. Hopefully he phases down. He did not. Regardless, I'm going to murder him. Uh, we'll take this weapon right here. Apparently there's a special after us. Probably not this right here. Are we being attacked? No, we are, well, we are actually. Oh, I see. Yep, that is a bear. That is a big bear. Uh, let's... Oh, piss! No! Oh, that was close, actually. We just absolutely nearly got toasted right there. Uh, let's pull out a big gun. And we will start using homing shots. We will avoid those, of course. 40 damage is actually pretty damn good. Okay, let's get behind him, I think. Nice. And then we'll start firing into his back for a whopping 82 damage. That's pretty good. And he's dead. Good. We didn't have to dodge anything, which is pretty nice. Wonderful. Okay, so I'll come down here. Actually, do we want to just like finish off this kind of layer up here first? I think so. Never mind. It's just a roundabout way to get back to the start. I think this is the, no, it's not the start, but it's actually pretty close too. Uh, we haven't really missed anything except for this kind of branched path over here, which we can always go back to. So I think that we just kind of push on. Hello, sorry. Yeah, this guy is defensive. He does not have a weapon, he's only got an arm and we actually just got a bunch of ammo for that. Uh, let's put a couple of probes to slow this guy and then we will shock them. Excellent. Uh, I'm gonna start coming around the flank around here. Uh, maybe we want to shoot over this way next. What's down here? Certain death, but we jumped it. I'm happy to jump it. There's not a lot down. What the hell is this? I 
feel like there's got to be a few of these around the place. What do they blight us with? Some kind of disease. Okay. Now, back in Remnant from the Ashes, there was actually a series of secret items that you could only get by having very specific poison, which meant a very specific enemy had to spawn on the map, as well as very specific spawns to kind of interact with people with that poison. I've right, got a bunch of enemies up there. Looks kind of close quarters. Probably pull out Tesla gun and use this for a bit just to get our probes back up and running. Because we kind of, we absolutely melt through enemies with this thing very quickly. All right, where's the rest of them? I know there's going to be more. I absolutely know for an absolute fact that there's going to be more. There's one right there. I'm going to take him out with the old Tesla gun. There we go. Great. Now we'll come up here, see if there's any goodies up here that they were, they were guarding. I doubt it, but it never hurts to check, does it? Oh, there's a chest, an orange chest. What's in here? Bugger all. Okay, thanks, game. <laughs> Thank you for the unhelpful loot. Uh, let's come off here next, and we will look underground. Hello. What's going on? A couple of enemies are coming after us. They're going to be phasing through a bunch of crap. He's got a weapon. I don't know what just happened then. What's going on? I'm going to pop him. Oh, hello there, friendo. Would you like one of these probes? Oh, he loved that probe. Look at that. He is so happy to have that probe. Okay, I'm going to fire a couple of rounds at him. And now at him. Because when he moves, we can now just chain home around. There he is. Okay, he hasn't really moved anywhere. Uh, it seems as though the chain effect seemed to sandbag us just a, a little smidge. Okay, that's not good. We need to roll a couple of times to get out of the fire. There he is. We are still chained to him as well. I don't know if it goes away after we reload. It does not. Oh, just stay here indefinitely until he dies. That's overpowered. That's really overpowered. Oh, we actually... I think that's stuck there because we missed. Hello. <laughs> he died like a chump. Great. Okay, so now we can go below the deck, which is pretty nice. And we most certainly will. Okay, uh, I'm going to be uploading these in chunks in hours on the YouTube. So... Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Remnants Yasha DLC. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you really enjoy. And of course, just over there is the subscribe button. If you click that on the way down to the description of this video, you'll find a link to my Discord where you can reach out to me personally and my community. And until I make the next episode, which is going to be right now, thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. And goodbye!